In this video, I wanted to demonstrate how you can use some of the tools in SOLIDWORKS to calculate volume. So in this example, I have this scoop, uh, and I need to make it uh, two ounces. And, and it's roughly yeah, close, just kind of based on some um, measurements that I've made. But I want to you know, get fairly precise with it. So you'll note w that when I made the bowl part of the scoop, if we roll back to here, yeah, I've just got the surface bodies uh, that make this up before uh, you're creating solid entities uh, from this. And you'll notice that I've used the intersect uh, tool here and I've suppressed it since I didn't need it for any of the other features uh, after this. So let's unsuppress it and take a look at what's going on with it. So you'll see and uh, it's created a solid body up here that I have hidden. So let's show it. So you know, here essentially is the uh, and then let's hide the surface bodies. You know, here is essentially what would be contained within the bowl of the scoop. And so let's see how we did that. Uh, so let me show the surface bodies again. And then uh, here in the intersect, let's look at, at its feature. So what I did, the way this works, the entities used in the intersect uh, are, is the top plane uh, here, and then this surface loft and then the surface fill here that makes up the bottom of it. Uh, and then you, you click the intersect. Uh, you could leave the top off and do, click the planar opening on it uh, uh, if that's where you wanted it, but I liked having a plane uh, that I, I knew where it was uh, to use for this. Another way to do this would be to use the fill surface and just to cap off the top of this. Uh, the nice thing about this kind of having a plane like this is you could make a new plane that you could adjust up and down. Uh, but I have another way that I'm going to alter the geometry of the bowl uh, to change the volume of it. So once I've got all that set, I can pick all these surface. In fact, let's run through this thing again. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, delete this. And then let's run it again. So uh, in this case, I'll do insert, features intersect and pick the top plane, pick this surface, pick this surface, run the intersect, and then you know, I've given this this region showing green. Uh, that's all good. See I don't need to merge it with anything. Say OK. And so now I've got this this body uh, here. So from there, uh, what I want to do is do some evaluation on it. So I'm going to right click in here, and if it's not on already, make sure my evaluate tab uh, is turned on. And let's go to that. Uh, and then over here, you can see mass properties. So I can click that, uh, and it's going to look uh, in here and find uh, the bodies in, in this. So I can click on the intersect one there. And let's take a look at its volume here. Is, uh, 53,183.94 cubic millimeters. Uh, so that's uh, 53.183 uh, cubic centimeters, which uh, 59 cubic centimeters is two ounces. So, and or I could set I could set my units here to uh, ounces if I want to. But I kind of know I know from uh, having done this before that I'm looking for about 59 cubic centimeters or 59,000 cubic millimeters. So I know yeah, I'm a little bit short here, so let's make this thing a little bit bigger. One thing I have done uh, in this, if you, if you take a look at the um, surface loft here, the sketch for it, the second sketch for it is on a, on a plane here. It's on plane one. So and plane one has a dimension of 15 degrees, 15 degrees off the top plane. So what I can do is just increase this dimension a little bit uh, until we get something that's that's hitting it. Let's try 18 degrees and you know, really increase that. And if it doesn't automatically update, then, then just come up and hit Rebuild or Control-B uh, to rebuild it. Now let's run the mass properties on it. Pick the intersect. Okay, 63. So yeah, we've, we've overshot it a little bit, so we're getting close. Let's come back up here to plane 1. Uh, let me try 16.5 and then under evaluate mass properties pick the intersect okay 58.2 sorry no, that's uh, 58 
Yeah, so we're getting close. Let's try one more change on that plane. Uh, let's try 16 and 16.75. And that's properties. Yeah, 59.06. So yeah, we're, we're really darn close uh, here. That's plenty close enough to uh, be two ounces. So uh, we know that's good. And so now we can just roll back down to the end. And in this case, either uh, suppress or hide the intersect. In this case, I'm just going to suppress it. Just so it's not interfering with anything. And so now we know our scoop uh, has the correct volume uh, that we want. In addition to changing that plane, you could potentially change the top sketch up here that controls this oval. You know, do things to um, increase or decrease the volume of it uh, gradually, uh, and then just use the evaluate uh, mass properties each time uh, on the volume that you have uh, from that. All right, I uh, hope this helps.